Our first guest is said to be one of the most recognizable people in the world. Please welcome the multi-talented Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> shoes actually light up? Were those made for you? Where did, where? No, they're they're from a great store called Irregular Choices. Where's that? In the city? Yes, downtown. Yeah. They've got great, crazy, wonderful shoes, but I thought these you would like because they do light up. They're really uh, cute. Yeah. I don't want to be cheesy, but I, price always matters. Were they really expensive? No, about 160 Oh. Yeah. That's good. Look. Do it again. Oh. <laughs> hey, Whoopi. <laughs> they, they can see they can see you real well in the club when you're getting your two-step on. Well, yes, when I go to the club. Yeah, I was going to ask know, you. Which I do <laughs> so often. Yeah, I was, you don't impress me as the nightclub type. You know, I used to be a big old clubber. Yeah. And then it clubbed me. Yeah. <laughs> well, it happens. If, yeah. if you do it right, then when you um, mature, you don't care about the club. Although I did have a dream that I was at a party at your house, and I talked about it on Hot Topics. Do you remember, you guys? Okay. I don't even know if you have a pool, but it was a house, not an apartment. It was right. in New Jersey. Right. And you had a party, and Eddie Murphy was there with his new girlfriend, and I think Denzel was there. <laughs> but everybody, look, look, look. Everybody was outside having fun, and I was in the kitchen eating off the hors d'oeuvre platter while nobody was looking. And then you came in the kitchen and you encouraged me, Wendy, eat. And I said, do you have any hard salami? And I stood there and I ate the salami. And you and I talked like two girlfriends. Your entire party was going on outside and we were inside eating and eating with our fingers and Are dipping. Are you sure we didn't do this? Fun. But you know what? When I woke up, I said, that dream seems so doggone real. You ever, yeah. you ever eat right from the fridge with your hands? Swig oh, yeah. out of the orange oh, juice? No, I don't drink orange juice, but I swig out of everything else. The, 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 <laughs> the pomegranate juice? Yes, pretty yes. much. And the water. You know, I love to drink my water. Yes. Now, when company comes to your house, do you tell them that you swigged or do you just serve them from the same container? Because you don't want to drink at our house because <laughs> a family that swigs together stays together. Yeah, no, I, I'm a lone swigger. Yes. <laughs> So I have stuff for them and then my stuff. But then, you know, after I told that uh, story on Hot Topics about my dream at, at your house, I found out that you actually do have little intimate get-togethers sometimes, yes. what they call a set, yes. where you play poker with yes. celebrity friends. Well, uh, no, just with friends' friends. Yeah. Now, if I knew how to get a hold of you... Oh, I'm busy. I, would, I know you all. I, I mean, you know, honestly... You know, she's Wendy Williams now. No, no. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, she don't hang with me. She hang with Denzel and her mom. No, in my mind, in my head. <laughs> Let's talk about your book. The yes. cover of your book is off the chain. It's called, um, Is It Just Me or Is It Nuts Out There? Look at, look at Whoopi on the toilet. <laughs> and and look, at, look at the fan. Look at the fan next to you asking for yes. an autograph. Yes. Has that ever happened yes, to you, Whoopi? Yes, that's happened quite a few times, you know. It, it's very odd when it does because... People get really mad when you don't want to give them the autograph. Yes. And I always say, well, what are you doing in here? Right. And she said, well, I'm going to the bathroom. I said, well, what do you think I'm doing in here? Yes. I'm trying to do the same thing you are. <laughs> Let me finish my stuff. Yes. And then I will come out and sign your thing. Or people are looking at you like this through the crack. <laughs> yeah. Because people, I, I don't know, we sort of lost this ability to, to think about what we do before uh -huh. we do it. We just say, oh, I want that. And then psh, you're looking at somebody yeah. through the crack and you don't say to yourself, what the hell am I doing? It's become, it's become <laughs> a very rude society. <laughs> um, you know, in, inside of your book, I noticed you had an example of celebrities that, or a little list of celebrities who've disappointed us. And um, some of those celebrities on the list include you guys, um, Amy Winehouse, uh, so talented, but the, dr the drug, well, she's kind but of- But you know, but the, the whole, idea of this was to sort of put in perspective of 
like the really bad people. Yeah. Like Hitler's a really bad person. Well, Lindsay Lohan's you know? on it, but she's just wayward. But she, yeah, but she's disappointed people because people have put their ideas and dreams into her, not realizing she has to go through what she has to go through. She's a really sweet girl and an amazing actress. She seems actress. to be. And she you is. put Kanye West on the list. Yeah, because people lost their minds. He's just Wisconsin. <laughs> but, but. But you didn't put Mel Gibson on the list. Well, I, I was done with the book by the time that all came oh. down. Oh, well, <laughs> if you <laughs> Listen, because I know he's your friend, but if you could rewrite the book and add something, would he be on the list? Well, he would be on the list because he's, you know, again, celebrities, the whole point of the list was to show people that, yes, people on that list are human and they make mistakes. Listen, if anybody heard any of the conversations I've ever had with exes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we've all made our mistakes. Oh, honey, I've called people, you know, sons of all mm -hmm. kind of stuff. I got you. Know? you. But, you know, but our, the difference is ours is not made public. Right. And that's the difference. And so if you can't see yourself in that celebrity, you will be disappointed. But if you can, Imagine how something like this could happen. Imagine how someone is enraged and on the phone, not thinking they're going to get taped, you know? So they just cussing you, your family, your lineage, your mama's friends, everything. You know, that if you can't see you, then you will always de be disappointed, I find. Good point. Because I've disappointed lots of people. Good point. You're an Oscar-winning actress, and we all know that. We haven't seen you on the big screen in a while. I know you've been busy with The View. But there's time in between to do some acting. Well, you know, somebody has to ask you if you want to come and play. Yeah. And I, I was very lucky because Tyler uh, said, listen, I want you to read the script. Maybe you want to do this part. And I read it, and I was like, oh, this would be great. And then I realized that the woman is really a despicable person. She's, she's I, I can't handle her because yes. she's too heavy for me. So when we were shooting, you know, usually the, the people that tell you where to go, the ADs, they'll say, you know, so-and-so, uh, -so, they'll call you by your character name. I was like, you cannot call me this woman's name. You have to call me Whoopi to keep me present because if I thought that I had to stick in this broad's body for all this time, <laughs> I would shoot myself. Well, that's the great thing about acting, and yeah. that's why you are an yeah. Oscar winner. Well, it's going to be good to see you back on the big screen. Um, there's a star-studded cast, everybody. Oh, You're going to yeah. love it with Janet Jackson and Felicia Rashad, yeah. Kerry Washington, Thandi Newton, Kimberly Elise. <laughs> I have to say, you know, I was thrilled to work with Tyler, and he's quite a wonderful director. Yeah. And this is a big, you know, out of his element. Mm -hmm. And this, this project followed him because we were going to produce it a couple of years ago on Broadway, and I wanted him to get involved. And then, you know, the economic situation hit, and we lost our, our money. And then, you know, uh, someone else said, hey, maybe you should think about doing this as a movie to him. And he's like, no, 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 no. This is an iconic play. I'm not going to do this. And then it came to him again. And he said, you know, when something comes after you three times. You got to hit it. And yeah, if, if it's not trying to eat you, yeah. So, well, <laughs> oh, and you know what? Congratulations on the 25th year of The Color Purple. Yeah. Man. Can you believe it? Yeah, I, I, 25 years, you know, I, who even knew what that meant? I mean, you know, I, I look and I see still me. Yes. And I know time has passed. Yes. But it, it, when they said it was 25 years, I was like, really? Wow, time has really yeah. passed. So how are things going over at The View? They haven't fired me. I'm very happy. <laughs> That's always a good thing. I think so, <laughs> you know? Well, you make sure to tell the girls in the makeup room I said hello. Well, you know, those dames have you on every day. I know. We watch every day. <laughs> tell me that. I love that. And um, congratulations on everything. Thank, thank you so you. much for being here. I told you I was Again. Back. Thank you again. All right, baby. All right, everybody, this is the fabulous Whoopi Goldberg. You can Thank pick you. up Whoopi's new book, Is It Just Me or Is It Nuts Out There? And also, don't forget to check her out in the new movie for Colored Girls in theaters November 5th. We'll be back. That's right.